I did so many tests on Evernote during the weekend and Evernote on my Mac is definitely very fast. But there are still some problems. Bear with me for a moment, we'll get there. Do you remember that a while ago I moved many of my files to Google Drive and created links in the notes on Evernote? Well, I had to move them all back. <laughs> But please, there's nothing going on, nothing wrong with the Google Drive integration, it, everything is fine. It's just that because of this change that is coming, my system will work better if I have the files in Evernote. You'll soon understand what, what I'm talking about, but I, yeah, I cannot talk anymore. That's it. <laughs> this was a good opportunity to test the speed of moving files and even moving 10, 20 files at once to Evernote was very fast. I don't know if you know this, but if you drag a file on top of the notes list, Evernote will create a new note and put that file inside that note and the notes title will be the file's name. And of course you can drag many files and Evernote will create uh, several notes. If you want all the files inside a single note, create the note first and then drag the files on top of the note. Well, that was very fast, but I also had to move uh, files to specific uh, notes. And it was not that hard because of the way I created a structure on Google Drive. What I did, uh, I, I, I created similar to what I had on Evernote. Uh, I had this uh, Evernote file, the parent file, folder, parent folder. And under that folder, I would have, for example, uh, documents and inside documents, my documents, another folder with my name and inside that all the documents. So all I had to do was go to Evernote, look for uh, the documents note and drag the drive files to Evernote, but not from the web page, that's not gonna work. You have to synchronize Google Drive with your computer and all the files will be in the file system of your computer. You can drag it from there to Evernote. This took me a while because I had to do it one by one, but thanks to the structure being the same, it was not that hard. I would open a, a, a note on Evernote inside a, a, a notebook, go to the same file structure on, on Drive and drag the file, see the file that I had on Evernote and look for that same file, drag it to Evernote and delete the link. I guess I, in hindsight, I guess I could have left the Google file there. It would be having the best of both worlds, but yeah, I didn't. So if you're doing this, <laughs> don't do what I did, keep both files there. I have a very good internet connection, so my results here may be a little biased, but not only moving the file, the, the dragging the files to Evernote was fast, the upload, the synchronization was also very fast. Uh, uh, that was really good. I, I was really impressed by that. Another thing I did was select many notes and add a tag to those notes. And that was also very fast, like the tests I did last week. And one of you uh, mentioned this on the comments on those videos. It's more of a database thing. So what we are doing on Evernote, it doesn't matter the size of the files. Of course, for the synchronization, it, it does matter. But for adding tags, removing tags, moving notes around, it doesn't matter. The size doesn't matter because everything is happening on the database. So all we are doing is kind of giving a comment and the database is doing all the hard work and then they, it's showing, the database is showing the result on, on Evernote. I don't know why it was taking so long before because of course the database was there before. Maybe it was, I don't know, the user interface that was not very well refined to show the results. I did so many tests during the weekend. I tried to break Evernote in so many ways. I moved files all around, notebooks, imported, exported, edit tags, remove tags, drag and drop tags. I did everything one can do to, to try to break Evernote and it didn't. I'm really impressed. It's working very well. 
While I was doing my tests, I noticed a lot of small features that maybe I don't remember were here before or maybe I never needed them, so I never noticed them. And it's possible that that's also your case, so that's why I thought of sharing them with you. They are pretty useful when we are doing housekeeping. <laughs> so let's take a look. You already know that I love these shortcuts here, but I usually use them to quickly get to a note, a tag, whatever it is. But did you know that you can right click here and for example, create a new notebook in this stack? New notebook. Uh, this was pretty useful during the weekend. And this was here before, I, I remember this. I, if I'm not mistaken, I even have a video about this, but it was in here whenever Note 10 was released and I'm pretty sure it was not possible to do before Evernote 10. Anyway, you can right click on any of these items here and take actions. For example, I can right click buy here. It is a tag. I can create a sub tag, rename tag, and so on. To be honest, I completely forgot this was here, but for housekeeping, it is pretty useful. This is another one that was already here. You can click one node and go to the last node, hold the shift key and select all of them. Or you can click on a node, hold the common key on Mac and select uh, different nodes that are not in a sequence. I believe the key on Windows is control. Anyway, let's create a new node here and then let's do it again. I'll select this ones. I'll right click here, copy the app link and then paste them here all at once. It was here before, but it's pretty useful when doing housekeeping. I use this a lot during the weekend. Okay, this one I'm sure that it wasn't available when Evernote 10 was released, but it existed uh, before Evernote 10. If we go to the tags, we can now drag a tag over another tag. This was not here before. The only option was clicking the three dots and moving the tag to another tag. It's much easier and we can even remove it by dragging it to this space down here. Remove it from the, the indentation. It, the tag will still exist. And this again, I used a lot. I, I, I was doing the three dots thing and I said, let me, let, let me try this. Maybe it's, it's here and it was, thankfully. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is another thing that I wish they had changed and they didn't. For example, let's uh, use this action and Anna here, the Anna uh, child tag. If I search for filter, uh, searching for action, action, I can see, whoops, action. I can see the, the tag here, the parent tag here, but there's no way I can click on the child tag. The only option here is clicking the three dots, filter with the tasks, and then remove the action and filter by the, the, the child tag. If you have just a few tags, that's okay, but I have so many and this is <laughs> my tasks account. In my real account, I have much more. I have a, a very elaborated structure and it's hard to, to navigate that structure. I, I cannot use the, the filter, the find tags. I have to go, I have a tag, I have one. I think I have it here too. Yeah, I, yeah, this one. I have one that is world and the cities inside the countries. And I always have to scroll down all the way to world and to find a city. Of course I can type the city name here, but sometimes I don't have the city name. It, it, it's just a small thing that would help a lot. Okay, I'm not gonna complain anymore because <laughs> Evernote is so fast now. <laughs> okay, for this one, we have to go to a mobile client. Let's say you wanna sketch something and you start drawing here, but 
Let's click the three dots and choose a pattern. I, I sometimes use this because it's easier to, to draw like this. Let's change the, uh, the background color so you can see it. Let's use the green one that I, is the one I usually use. And also change the pencil. So now I can, I can draw here uh, following the dots, but I don't want this dots on my final draw. So I can click here and go to the pattern again. And there is this last option here, save sketch with pattern. I can turn it off. And now when I hit done, the dots are gone. I don't know if this was or not here before, but I just noticed it. And again, I think it's good to share. Oh, by the way, there's there's another thing here that I love. This was here before, even, even before uh, Evernote 10, but I love this feature. If we tap here, Evernote will make our drawings a perfect square. See it? Oops, let's get the, the dark pencil again. Or a perfect triangle or a circle. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, this was here before, but uh, sometimes I, I use it, especially when I'm, I'm sketching the, uh, the thumbnails for, for, for the videos. Yeah, I do it here. Now it's time for that talk about subscribing to the channel. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, I've been asking you guys to subscribe to the channel, at least the ones of you that come back all the time to watch new videos. Please subscribe if this is your case because it helps a lot. And until last week, it was kind of half of you coming back and not being subscribed. And now many of you are subscribing, but now the ones that are subscribed are 40% and the ones that are coming back and are not subscribed are 60%. <laughs> I don't understand this. Anyway, thank you for subscribing. If you come back to watch new videos all the time, please subscribe, it helps a lot. During the weekend, I decided which notes I would keep on Obsidian and which ones I would bring back to Evernote. And one thing I, I decided is that everything that is related to my website will stay on Obsidian. I, I, I really love the Obsidian Publish feature. It creates a website with the notes we have there. And I'll, for sure, I'll, I'll work on a video about this in the future. I, I'm still trying, testing things, but it's really good. The sad part is that Evernote used to have this feature. Not Evernote, there was this uh, company called Postacio. They still exist, but the service kind of abandoned. I, I, I don't see any upgrade for years. And, and, and to be honest, I, I don't trust a company that doesn't update social media or the website. So I'm not, I'm not building my, my website there. It was so good. All we had to do was connect a notebook to the service, to Postacio, and we could keep many notes there, but the ones with, I guess it was published tag. I don't remember exactly what the tag was, but it, it was a tag that would trigger the upload of that note to the website. The creation date, images, everything, links, everything on, on, on the Evernote note would be uploaded. So if we were creating a note for a blog post and I wanted that note to be in a certain date, I all I had to do was change the note creation date and that would be the post, the blog post date. Anyway, uh, I digress. <laughs> I left the, the website, files there, and some other files and notes, everything else I moved back to Evernote. Not exactly moved back. You don't understand what I did. Do you remember that when I was testing Obsidian, I exported some of my notebooks? Well, I decided to test the speed of importing notebooks and there is one that has more than a thousand notes and it was very fast. However, there's a little problem. Uh, 
Recently, uh, Federico posted uh, an article on Evernote's official blog. There is a video here on the channel where I explain everything he, uh, all the geeky things he was trying to tell us. And one of the, the, the changes he mentioned on that article was related to the, the name of the, the, the notes. The notes now have a different naming structure, not, not a title, the address. It, it's a database thing. We, we can't see it, but the links didn't work anymore. So I had to rebuild all the links. And if you are making backups of your Evernote, I suggest you create new backups because all the links are broken from that old backup before this, this change. If you don't remember, here's how to do it. Just click the three dots, export notebook, check all these boxes and choose the ENEX format and export. This format is Evernote's format and it's the one that most other apps will recognize and import. This is a new Android phone and I have problems with the widgets. Sometimes they don't synchronize. Uh, the client's uh, kind of slow. My iPad is pretty old, but I can also see some problems there. The widgets are working there, uh, but the work they've done on the desktop client is beyond impressive. So I'm hoping the mobile clients are coming next. <laughs> Let's hope. If this was useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And if you want to help even more, you can buy me a coffee or become a Patreon or YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.